Yo, what's up guys, it's me Tech Ninja Plays, and today I'm going to be giving you all a guide on how to beat missions from Genesis Part 1. Now, quickly, we want to get a couple things out of the way. First of all, being the fact that each section will be labeled, so you can just check on screen if there's anything you're looking for specifically that will be labeled. There will also be timestamps in the description of this video. Also, these are only for Genesis Part 1, because Genesis Part 2 might have different missions. It hasn't come out yet. So I'm honestly not too sure. I can't really say. Uh, but yeah, this is at least for the moment just for Genesis Part 1. This is going to sort of be... I'm going to sort of be covering every single one sort of quickly. But at the same time trying to give detail. Uh, it, it was requested that I make uh, separate videos for every single mission type. So I will do that which will go a lot more depth. But this is a guide for all missions in one spot. And final thing, you may think how can you trust me if I haven't even beat... All the missions well a few things first of all i do play solo a lot of the alpha ones you can't really do solo or they're a lot easier with the tribe second of all i did get i did beat enough mission missions to be able to do the boss fight so i sort of stopped doing missions after that because i didn't really find a need to that's why these two are pretty empty because these three are a lot easier so i did those first so i could do the boss fight also for the final thing i honestly i've been playing arc a long time i I just have a lot of general understanding of how ARC works. Oh, I did say final thing, but one more thing. Normal ARCs will have drops, whereas Genesis Part 1 has these missions, which when you complete them, you do get loot such as weapons and armor, but you also get some of these hexagons, which can be used in Helena's store. But all sorts of goodies, loot crates, resources, and emotes. Now for the first, we have the boss now i'm not really going to cover this and you may be thinking hang on why not because it's an entire boss fight it it's really is a big thing to cover and if anything it would deserve a separate video of its own not this same video so i'm not going to cover exactly how but pretty much it just it's a water boss so you're going to want to bring uh moses two suits even a bassy might be nice for the person who's riding well you know for the player so you can ride it so you don't get because it is an electric eel pretty much a giant eel and its minions are eels so you will get electrocuted so the bassy can be nice so you don't get electrocuted in the attacks but other than that you're really just going to want to bring moses and two suits now for the first one on this list we have gauntlet mission the reason i say gauntlets are so hard is because you can't really do anything to like increase your chances of winning other than bring teammates and get better armor Basically, you're given select weapons as you saw. Of course, you can choose out of a few different ones, but you can't bring your own dinos, you can't really bring your own weapons or anything like that, so it can make it extremely difficult. Basically, the strategy I like to use for this is use a bow or a gun or whatever weapon it is that is ranged and take out all the air units first. As you'll see, well, as you saw, I was going for the bees, going for uh, the moths, that kind of stuff, because they do fly, they can get to you a lot quicker. Or extremely fast things such as raptors, or even maybe wolves in the snow one. Of course, you always want to con you want to I can't talk. You constantly want to run away from these fellas and look back and shoot. Having a teammate, uh, try mate. I mean, a team. I can't talk. Having a team will make this a lot easier as you can have multiple people shooting at once. Now, for the next mission type, we have hunt missions. Now, these ones are arguably one of the hardest mission types in all of Arc Genesis Part 1, and they pretty much, the only thing that really boosts your chances of winning, again, I'm saying chances, it's not chance-based, obviously, it's based off what you have, but what increases your chances of winning are pretty much just better dinos. As you can see, all these dinos have been mutated, I think, 10 times? But basically, what you want to do is... I like to bring uh, quite a few Rexes with me, as you can see, and you have to go around and follow these footsteps. Helena will show you the way you literally just follow these footsteps all the way around. As you can see, there are 150 total. So you're literally just going to keep on following these around, and as you can see, like I did say, there are 150. Once you do roughly about a third of them, then you will start fighting whatever the brute creature is. In this case, it is a blood stalker. So you'll start fighting that and then it'll run away. You follow more foot footsteps. I can't remember what footsteps. Footprints. My bad on that one. As you can see right here is the brute. So now I'll just whistle attack. Oh, well, all target. Attack target. Oh my gosh, I literally can't talk. As you can see, we're doing a lot of damage. This thing is like a mini boss almost. We deal so much damage 
and it's still not enough. I, you guys have to go on passive, or else they are gonna go crazy. But just like that, you just follow the footprints around and you just keep on attacking it. Alrighty, we are here for the final time, and as you can see, the Bloodstalker does have some minions to help it out in this fight once you get to the end. Sometimes the minions can be a lot worse rather than just spiders, but pretty much this is where most of the blood happens. As you can see, a lot of green numbers, also a few yellow. There we go, the brute is down. Now we just got to take out the minions and then we are complete. Boom. So this mission is very difficult, of course. Now for the next mission type, we have the escort missions. Now the reason I say these ones are so difficult is because, well, you have very limited health. It doesn't matter how much health your creatures have, it goes based off the health of the dino. As you can see here, once this frog loses all its health, it's game over for me. I've lost it. But you still do want to have a lot of dinos. And, uh, you know, it is sort of difficult in a sense, but at the same time, it's not entirely difficult. You literally just run around protecting this fella. Well, in this case, it's a frog. Other times, it's uh, parasaurs or whatever it might be. You just literally run around following this fella and just defending it against anything that goes to attack it. As you can see, it already lost a little bit of health, but it's not that big of a deal. Now, I do want to say, this does glitch out a lot where just the dino doesn't spawn and there's nothing for you to protect. And it's sort of weird and irritating at the same time. So if that does happen, just repeat the mission, you know, restart, just cancel it, restart a few times, and then it should come up. I've definitely had that mission a fair few times. I just realized these fellas are supposed to be on neutral, completely my bad there. But yeah, there genuinely isn't much to say here. You just run around protecting it for about 10 minutes or whatever the time is. And another thing I actually did forget to mission, forget to mention for the previous mission, which also stands for this mission, and any mission that requires fighting, honestly. What the dinos you want to bring would be, you know, sort of Rexes, Allos, Magbasaurs, maybe? Um, also, you could bring, if you're doing transfers, Reapers or something. But uh, I, I, as you can see, I like to use Rexes because, well, I have mutated Rexes. These are the dino of my choice. But you definitely do want to have big, beefy dinos that can deal a lot of damage for these missions. And again, it's not just Escort, it's Hunt missions. It's any ones that pretty much involve any fighting. Here is this frog's family over here. It's definitely not going to lie. Kind of cute when you see them all. They're all rejoicing, they're all happy, they're like, we finally have, I don't know, I, the one of the parents back. You know, it's different, look at this, look at these fellas. <laughs> oh my goodness, but yeah, there you go, that's an escort mission for you. You just want to bring some dinos and defend it. It may sound really simple, but it can also be pretty difficult at the same time. Now, for the next type of mission, we have Retrieval checkpoint missions. Now, these are, honestly, I would say pretty simple. Here's my strategy. Go ahead, get our Bloodstalker, you come to the checkpoint, you gotta wait 10 seconds, and all this stuff will come and attack you. However, if you use a Bloodstalker, you can literally just jump around, and as you can see, it did get one hit, or if we stand up here, nothing can hit us, but it still does the checkpoint. This fella does have a lot of health as well, so you can withstand a lot of hits, but you literally just go around to all these checkpoints. You can bring something to defend yourself, however, I don't know, I, I like this strategy. I think it's kind of funny, first of all, but also it's good for new players who don't really have many dinos. These trees do mind. Um, oh, some stuff is getting us here, as you can see, but you can pretty much just jump around, honestly like this and a lot of the time sometimes as you did see they will get you if you go too far away the timer does stop however you can just go away try and maybe lead something away and then come back or if you're jumping around it really doesn't matter a lot of the time there are little bits like here we start the countdown and we come up here there are a lot of bits oh no that capro kind of scares me not gonna lie <laughs> i hate capros oh there we go now that we move the capro we can pretty much just literally sit up here Wait for the countdown to finish up, and boom, move on to the next one. It's honestly pretty simple. As you can see here, we just hit the final checkpoint, so now we have to go through and pick up all this pollen. First, I've got to kill everything that is just trying to kill me. As you can see here, boom, there are these plants. You just hit it, pick up the pollen, and boom. Now we just got to repeat that for every single one of these checkpoints here. And you might want to bring a gas mask, now thinking about it, yeah, because these plants is very irritating they do this thing where as you can see I can't really see and I'm slowed down alrighty here's the final pollen there we go grab that now here is where the blood stalker is super handy so as you can see the timer is immediately shortened 
Alrighty, so we go ahead and bring out the Bloodstalker first. Let's put our Rex away. Now, there is basically a finish line, and there are a bunch of dinos defending it. As you can see over here, the escape route right here. Well, no, this way. <laughs> you do actually have to follow. See, you don't have to follow it straight up, but you do where it says escape route, you definitely do have to follow. You know, go right next to those parts for it to actually count. As you can see, we're just skipping all the dinos instead of fighting them with the Bloodstalker. Because you don't have to fight- Boom! Did you see that? There were a ton of dinos. There were spinos and other stuff. I didn't actually see them all, but you would assume like spinos, raptors, or sacros, capros, all of that. And we just skipped straight past it with the Bloodstalker. So, the using the Bloodstalker immediately may not be the best idea. I do prefer it that way. However, using it afterwards is definitely a much better method. Next up, we have Retrieve Missions, where, which are essentially just a game of hot and cold. You'll see what I mean, but you pretty much just got to want the same thing, just a Bloodstalker and then a Rex or Aloe or whatever it is, your choice of Dino. So as you can see, we'll turn around, it goes red, here's green, so we know we're going to go in this direction over here. Also, it does give you... Look, get rid of the web. It does give you a little uh, guide. It, as you saw before, it said that we had to come inside of here. Now... There was a capro down there, but you've got to get off your team, unfortunately, and you just gather. And you literally just go around repeating this. Just follow the green because that's where it is. Looks. Oh, it's right here. As you can see, boom. So we just get off our team and pick it up. You literally repeat this. As you can see, there's like different groups. There's pretty much four groups. Each group has four as well. So that's a total of 16 that you do have to pick up. So again, we just literally just continue following this green and it's right there as we can see get off our team gather that and we just keep on going this one is extremely easy i'm not gonna lie and here's the final one boom That's what I call, right? just like that it's complete it's literally so simple the only problem you'll come across is if you know something's trying to attack you that's literally it other than that it is extremely easy now we're getting into the extremely easy territory which is first of all fishing it requires literally nothing i mean in this case you know we we'll want some fur armor you might want something to defend you but other than that it requires literally nothing it's so easy it just requires a lot of time that's the problem oh and i i meant to press k to get out of k mode but <laughs> that's so irritating but anyway it literally requires like nothing you'll you'll see here it's so simple we just sit here we have to collect 10 fish and boom, just like that, we've got one done, nine more to go. Now we do have bog fishing, which is actually different. You use a net rather than a fishing rod, and this one is honestly kind of difficult, I'm not gonna lie. I can't actually do the alpha mode because the piratas are so irritating and... No, I need you to be on neutral, buddy. I'm trying to fish, man. No. <laughs> there was a big fish there, but that, that's very sad. Basically, you just go around collecting fish. It's pretty obvious. You collect them in the net, boom. And see, when it hits the piranha, it resets, making this honestly extremely difficult. I'm not even gonna lie. We got a few fish, so let's pull these in real quick. I don't know why my Rex is not defending himself. So as you can see now, there are not really any piranhas around since my guy has killed most of them. So we can get a ton of fish here. This is definitely why it's handy to have something like a Rex or so. There we go, we got about five, I think, four or five. You can hear the spamming of the mouse. There we go, 34 weight, that's pretty good. Next up, we have basketball right here, boom. Now, you can do it with friends or you can do it by yourself. Um, obviously, I'm playing solo, so I don't have any friends to do it with. If you do come real close, you will only get two points, as you see there, two points. Whereas if you're outside this little line, you will get three. And obviously, you do want to maximize the amount of points you get. Although it can be a little bit difficult to get that rhythm going, as you can see I did miss there. It's honestly just trial and error, you just gotta go back and retry a few times until you eventually get to that sweet spot where you get in practically every time. Obviously it will be nice to do the Gamma and Beta first. I haven't done this one in a while since I did this pretty much as soon as I started uh, this Genesis here and boom. Is that going in? Yep, it's going in. So you literally, it's so simple, you barely get anything for it honestly. But it's a couple more missions done and you literally just keep on repeating this. And for the final mission type, we have races. Now, 
Racers are without a doubt the easiest of them all. You don't even need anything to defend you. You don't need to bring anything, you don't need anything to defend you. You're given a dino and you do the race. It's that simple. Of course it does take trial and error, that's the you know pretty much the only thing. Trial and error, especially for the alpha versions, it can quite often take you a few attempts, but it's so simple. You literally just follow the track and just go around. That's all you do. And, and, okay, as you can see, we already stuffed that up, there we go. As you can see, uh, it, it's not that bad, I mean, obviously we just started, but uh, the rewards are actually pretty good for how easy they are, I'm not gonna lie. Even if you just started, you can probably go around and beat, well, almost all of them, obviously not ones in uh, biomes you can't handle yet, but you can go around and just beat them all with ease, honestly. I did struggle a little bit in the one of the lava missions, there's like a little jump at the end, I think... I, I haven't done it in a while, it was a few months ago, but I'm pretty sure there was a little jump. So, I did struggle with that one specifically. Uh, the Lunar Biome one is a little bit more difficult, but as you can see, we are literally just breezing through this right here. We've done about half in about 50 seconds. About 50 seconds? It was 50 seconds when I said that. I don't know why I said about, but anyway, I'm just going to continue swigging through these. Uh, obviously, there are mission uh, races, sorry, varying for all sorts of different dinos you got. Uh, obviously the Bloodstalker here, you got fast, you got slow dinos in all different biomes, so it's, it really is, and, and honestly I find these to be an absolute blast, especially, I remember the first time I did this one, I didn't actually have any Bloodstalkers, and so I did this, and this was the first time I used a Bloodstalker, and it was such a blast for me. Oh, we got caught on the floor a little bit here, and boom, just like that, it literally took us a minute Okay, wait, that's our personal best? Okay, whatever, it took us like a minute 30, minute 40, no, not 30, minute 40 seconds or so. You don't need anything. It's so simple, honestly. But that is it for today's video, how to beat missions in Ark Genesis Part 1. If this video did help you or if you did enjoy this video, please do like this video and subscribe to my channel if you have not already, as it really does help me out a lot and I really would appreciate that. Turn on the notification bell if you want to be notified as soon as I upload another video. And with all that out of the way, I will catch you all next time. Have a good one.